Hey, what's going on? It's Graf Cody here, and I'm back for another monitor today, guys. Now, last episode, Joe reviewed the Invasion mod. If you want to check it out, link is in the description. But today, guys, I'm reviewing the Household of Gods mod. Now, what this mod actually adds in is 16 generated statues throughout your entire world, so they can be found in the nether, um, snow biomes, any type of biome, and they're just found throughout the world. Now, when they spawn throughout the world, they have some special abilities. They can either be built to their normal um, body parts, or they can be mixed and matched with other body parts from uh, other gods. Now, these gods, they have some special abilities, like I said. And I'll go over all the basic ones first uh, with their normal body parts, and then we'll mix and match a few. But right here, guys, we have Hephaestus. Now, I'm going to be pronouncing pretty much a lot of these names wrong. I'm sorry about that, guys. Just quick warning. But anyways, Hephaestus, he's the armor to the gods and patron of metal. Now, what he can do is repair your armor and weapons, and his head means... Um, enchant repair, body meaning in nearest chest, and weapon or armor. Um, oh yeah, tusk meaning weapon or armor. So that's really cool. And if you have we weapons in the chest, he'll just uh, repair them for you. Or if you drop them, I'm pretty sure he'll repair them as well. So that's really cool. And if we go over here, we have Demeter. Now Demeter, the goddess of nature and growth. I took her head off and beheaded her because it's pretty messy. Um, we'll wait a minute and let her do her work. But pretty much her head meaning grow, um, body meaning up to three, and her feet meaning plants. So you pretty much can guess what she's going to be doing. She's going to be spawning stuff um, like nature, flower, and trees and stuff everywhere. But for some reason, you're not doing it. So I think later on in the episode, um, she'll hopefully do something. But anyways, we get Anubis here. Now this one I pronounced right, I think. Anyways, he's the protector of the gods, and his head meaning hurt, um, his body meaning all, and feet meaning living. Now, if we spawn, say, a sheep. Oh, I think, yep, yeah, she did it. Okay. As you can see, just saplings everywhere, and we're going to behead you there. <laughs> You're crazy. Um, but if I put the sheep down, he'll eventually hurt it and cause damage to living things. And it appears he spawns wither skeletons. I'm not sure if that's him or the one in the back. But yeah, Wither Skeletons, and he's the uh, Protector of the Dead. So, kill it! Come on, you can do it. Come, sheep, take some damage. You ruin, sheep ruin everything. It's every episode, sheep does something to me. Anyways, um, hopefully he does something to it. Spawn a lot of them. <laughs> and right here, guys, we have the next god, and this is Beowulf. Now, if you've never read the book or anything, he's like, uh, I'm not going to try to explain it, because it's been like two years since I've read it, and I don't want to piss anyone off but anyways there's a book on him but he's the slayer of monsters and hero of the geats now his head meaning kill his body meaning strongest and feet meaning monster so he'll kill monsters and uh yeah let's try a skeleton so far it hasn't gone too well oh okay i thought he was doing damage but that's just skeleton um creep no i don't want to test the creeper but anyways he destroy um he kills stuff that is uh, hostile. Okay, guys, so the next guy we have is Prometheus. Now, Prometheus, he's the giver of fire. Um, well, he's a far sighted giver of fire. Now, what he actually does is, uh, well, let's go over his head and body parts first. His head, meaning create, uh, meth, uh, his body, meaning near player, and uh, his feet, meaning flint and steel. So, he'll give you flint and steel, anything to do with fire, so lava buckets. Um, actually, I don't think lava buckets, but just lava, fire, uh, so, he's a pyromaniac, pretty much. And it'll give you flint and steel, and uh, that's pretty much it for him. But if we go over here, we have Jupiter. Now, Jupiter, he's awesome. I had to take his head off, because he was just spawning lightning everywhere. And put his head on. Okay, so let's spawn his sheep and see what he does. Now, he spawns lightning, and hopefully he strikes us. Yep, there we go. He nailed it. And two seconds, guys, and I will show you some more of them. I just didn't want to get overwhelmed and put all 16 up at once. Alright guys, so the next god we have here is Cocapelli. Now, Cocapelli, pretty much what he'll do is play some scary noises. So the scariest noise you've ever heard in Minecraft, he'll play them. I kind of hear them in, like, caves and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I don't want you in my house because I freak out pretty much. And now, Cocapelli, he's a trickster musician. And his head meaning play, his body meaning at nearest player location, and feet meaning a scary noise. So I don't want you in my house. And... There's one of the noises. Oh, God. 
Oh, that's so weird. But anyways, guys, we get the next god, and that's Aphrodite. Now, Aphrodite, pretty much what you'll do is mate two animals um, that are near each other. So if I two sheep down here and put her in the um, animal pen, pretty much they'll have a baby. So instead of having wheat, you just have her in there, and you'll be all good. So she means the goddess of fertility and love. Um, her head meaning mate, body meaning two, and then animals. So that's really cool. And the next god we have is Hestia, the protector of earth, or of the hearth, I guess. And her head meaning give plays, um, give slash plays, and then her body meaning two player in furnace, and her feet meaning food. So pretty much if you have um, furnaces next to each other, she will cook, um, she puts some meat in there and they'll start cooking, or you'll get some food in your inventory. See, I just got a furnace, she just gave it to me randomly. And, oh, and you don't need coal, I guess, when it's near her. So let's put it, no, it's still going. I don't know f how far her range is, but, yeah, she puts meat in there, and uh, you don't need to power it. That's really cool. And we got the next one. The, this one looks like Buddha. <laughs> he just, did Buddha give me cake? I think she gave me cake. <laughs> but he means, man, or no, his name is Mammon, and he's a greed person personified, I guess. And he summons ores to the surface. So you see, we get some iron right here, and redstone, and gold, and damn, that's a far range. But yeah, he summons ores to the earth, or to the uh, ground. And I don't know why I'm doing that. His head means summon, body meaning to surface, and feet meaning ore. So that's cool. And we're going to head to Poseidon. Now, Poseidon, I think he's doing this. I'm not too sure. He will summon water to the um, earth, or like wherever he is. So, Poseidon, Lord of the Oceans, his head meaning spawn, uh, body meaning at sea level, and feet meaning water. So, I think at sea level he'll spawn water randomly. I've seen other people having the problem where it's just, uh, there'll be like a water bucket like right here. Um, or like water just uh, coming down right there, not a water bucket. But I'm pretty sure he's doing that. I don't want to sure. I haven't seen him do anything. So I'll keep an eye on you. But we get the next god here, guys. And that is... Oh my god. I This one's going to be impossible to pronounce. Quat, Quatzlacote? Oh god, that's probably way off. But he'll spawn seeds to the earth. Now he means the winged serpent. And his head meaning drop. Body meaning near statue. And feet meaning st um, seeds. So there'll be seeds spawned throughout. And he seems to like nether warts. So, I'm not going to hate on you. Nether warts cool. And flowers are too. I guess. So that's um, that god. And I'll show you the next four guys. Alright guys, so let's take a look at the last god. And this is Minerva. Now Minerva, she's wisdom herself. Her head meaning heal. Or no, her head meaning spawn. Her body meaning in random location. And her feet meaning books, maps, experience bottles. So she'll spawn item frames, bookcases, um, what else do I have? Maps, um, just really random stuff. But I guess that's to help you, help guide you. Um, not too sure where she spawns. But yeah, she's wisdom, and that's really cool. <laughs> I like her model, and I, just, I got a speed buff. So I think it's him doing that, or her. Not sure at all. But yeah, she got a shield and everything, that's really cool. And to mention, this is one of my favorite models. I forget your name, buddy. But you get an awesome model. And let's time set zero. If I can spell. Never. Can never do it. But right here we have one of the last gods. Now there was two more gods. But I've only found one. And it's not on the um, forum post of what they're called. But I managed to find this one. But this one is called Asclepius. The master of medicines. And I'll heal the nearest player. Um, his head meaning heal. Um, body meaning nearest hurt. And then feet meaning player. So that's really cool. And let's take a look at this one. Now this one, I kind of AFK'd a bit after I placed it down. And everything was messed up. See, he moved. Side had moved. And I decided to break it because I didn't want my set getting ruined. Now, I think she uh, hosed ground as well. If I forgot to mention that. But let's place it down. Now, this is Gozer the Traveler. Now, got a weird purple, red eyes kind of thing going on. But he will teleport things everywhere and just mess your day up. So, 
Yeah, he just teleported. I don't know what's going on. I and I'm getting speed buff, and this is just getting nuts. And she teleported as well. I I guarantee it's this thing doing it, because I found him in the ground, just like yeah, right here. That's where I found him. And I'm gonna block it up, but <laughs> really cool. Um, so that's it for the House of the Gods, guys. Um, well, that's it for all the um, gods itself, um, the regular ones. But if I place down some of those random ones, um, they'll start getting their abilities. So let's just get a random head. Put this head on here. So you can mix and match them, like I said. It's not standard. What the fuck? Where did this come from? This is probably randomly spawned. That's cool. So that's a demonstration of um, type of combo you can get uh, randomly through the world. Are they moving? They're moving again. This is not. I'm going nuts, guys. <laughs> this mod is so awesome. It's so random, and like you can't predict anything that's gonna happen. We got lapis blocks up here, coal. But yeah, they just get their abilities. Now the abilities for the heads, I think I've list off all of them pretty much, and for the feet, and that's why I went over like his head meaning like teleport, his head meaning nearest player. So you can just come up with awesome combos. If you guys come up with any really cool ones, let me know. And <laughs> or spawning on uh, Twitter or Facebook or something like that. And I'll be happy to like retweet it or anything. So thanks for watching this episode, guys. And like I said, just keep sending me stuff, um, any cool things you find. And let's try to get, uh, I don't know, 400 likes on this, guys. Because that'd be really awesome. This one took a lot. I had to read up on like the forum post for like, oh god, like 30 minutes of learning everything. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching the episode, and hopefully Joe can do one um, by Friday. He has exams all week, so don't worry if he can't. Um, I think I'll put out another one if he can't. So thanks for watching the episode, guys, and Divine RPG tomorrow. Peace.